for uh, 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers and they, then they will bring you back. Like they have packages for tourists as well because only I think uh, who are trained, professionally trained to climb the mountains, mm-hmm. they go to um, uh, those peaks. But if you want to just enjoy and see the beauty of that mountain, uh, they, you are also sorted. Yeah, that would be quite an adventure. <laughs> it really would be. Well, I know that uh, we're going to run out of time really fast. What about uh, the cuisine? What it, What is your food like there? I love to eat, and I'm. I bet. <laughs> what, what 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 were some things if I were to go visit? What should I eat there? Okay, we um, uh, this region, Pakistan and India, we are known as subcontinent region. So mm-hmm. uh, this region is famous for its. Um, uh, spicy food. We like spicy food, right? Uh, there are a few dishes, but, uh, though there is a lot which I can recommend, but there are a few dishes which I would recommend to everyone who is coming here. Um, um, well, uh, there are two um, soupy dishes which are made up of beef. One is known as pie and another is known as nihari. Uh, both taste differently, but both are amazing and there are uh, particular to this uh, region only. Then there is biryani. It is made up of rice. Uh, we, ha- we are famous for our street foods like chaat and dahi bade, <laughs> haleem. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we have mangoes. If you come in summer over here, um, our mangoes are world famous. I don't know. I think we produce like over 20 type of mangoes over here. And uh, there is a sweet called gulab jamun. There are many, but I like it. <laughs> very much that's why i have mentioned it so there's you a, did. Yeah, and, yeah yeah go ahead. that that's interesting about the variety of mangoes you have so is it fairly tropical what would you say your climate is like pakistan has very diverse climate like karachi is hot very hot mm-hmm. uh, seven to eight months of the year uh, um, it's quite hot over here um, if you go to northern Pakistan, like Islamabad, Lahore, and the, our two northern provinces, <clears throat> KPK and Gilgit Pakistan, they have um, quite cold temperature, so it's quite diverse. Okay, and I know that just looking at my notes here, you really recommend for visitors to spend time with with local people right hang out with a family or or let's say let's say i come over there and and i spend time with your family what would you guys what would we do do you think (laughs) maybe uh if i know that you are coming Mm -hmm. uh, i will um maybe i'll call my whole family to come and meet you yeah we are that kind of people I'd be and, so honored. I'm just so that's so nice. I get to meet the whole clan, the whole family, huh? Everyone. And no. we will cook, and we will do barbecue together and we will take you um uh, to Karachi. I will um go with you everywhere. Okay. Well, I I may maybe one one day I will take you up on this. This sounds delightful. I would love to go to that part of the world. So you never know about life, right? Yeah, and you're welcome. Everyone is welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, is there anything that, that you would suggest that we not do as a first-time visitor? Is there, is there, are there things to do that probably may not be safe for a tourist or anything you would advise for us not to do? Not to do? Look, Deborah, uh, we, every country has their um, cultural values and religious values. Right. I think whenever you should, uh, you should do a little homework before going. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, uh, you should um, uh, try to um, like abide by them. So what I say that for women uh, and men also uh, dress appropriately. That doesn't mm-hmm. mean that you have to like um, put on some veil, but just wear proper full clothes. And um, for um, like our women doesn't like to shake hands with men. Okay. Man, just take care of it. That's it. That that's those are those are important little de- there's no, those are little details, but they're not. I mean, that's kind of that's good information to know. Yeah. So, do I want to ask you is is the for women is the dress still real traditional there or is it becoming modernized for your young generation? I know a lot of women listening to this would be interested in that. 
um, traditional, like, sorry, I didn't get your uh, question. <clears throat> yeah, traditional and in, 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 you know, you dress and covered up for women and, and maybe, maybe you can share with us a little bit about the, the dress code there, how, how ladies, how women dress. Well, the traditional dress of Pakistan for women mm -hmm. is a, a long shirt, um, a baggy uh, pants, which we call shalwar, and a, a big shawl that is dubatta, right? Mm -hmm. So, so um, we will appreciate it if our tourists uh, wear our clothes, but mm -hmm. there is no compulsion. Just dress appropriately. There are no like certain rules that you have to wear this and that wear whatever you like as long as it's appropriate just kind of be respectful though it sounds like so then that makes sense that's just common sense when you're when you're visiting a place and so okay um i'm going we're going to run out of time so there's so much i want to learn too um i know i want to ask you have you been here to the united states no hey have you had an opportunity to travel outside of pakistan much or Yes, yes. Once I have been outside of Pakistan. Okay. You want to share with us where you've gone or? Yeah, yeah. I've been to um, uh, Saudi Arabia to perform mm -hmm. uh, pilgrimage and to visit certain cities in 2015, five years back. Okay. Was that a fun experience for you? Very good. I think yeah. travel, uh, w travel makes you creative. Traveling mm -hmm. makes you creative and it opens, it gives you exposure, a lot of exposure of the world. And I would recommend going everywhere, wherever you can go, you should go. And yeah, I, I would definitely agree with you 100%, Imama. And I think that's going, this is a new show, but I think the more uh, shows, episodes we have and, and different guests, I think that's going to be a common thread throughout all of these conversations. I think that we can probably, most of us agree that, I think, you know, travel is really the best classroom, the best education you, you can have, Perfect. right? I mean, to, right? To, yeah, exactly. To, I agree yeah. With you. Yeah, it's really eye-opening. I know when I was a young, young college student, I got a chance to go to Europe and for the first time leave my country and, and spend some time in Switzerland and got to go to France and England and what an eye-opening thing you know it in, in to do it at that age too so I say it's you know if families with little kids you know over any age you can especially if you're young and you're not you know don't have kids of your own yet and you don't have family just go travel have your adventures and and so anyway this has been I I just I just would love to come visit your country one day. Um, is there anything we do? I think we do. I haven't had the two-minute warning yet. I think we have just a little bit of time yet. Is there anything that that you would like to share with us about your culture or your government or anything that that you that you would like to share? Um, well, if I start talking about government, I can go another half hour. So mm -hmm. leave it. Uh, I would like to say first of all, I would like to thank you, Deborah for inviting me. It was um, amazing. Aww. I really appreciate the, the mission and the topic of this podcast. Also, I would like to invite everyone who is listening or who will listen to this podcast to Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan is a wonderful country and I am here, my family is here and we would be happy to assist you and make your trip memorable. That's a very nice, generous offer, and, and we're about out of time, so why don't we share with our listeners, I know that you have your marketing business, why don't we, how how can they find out more about how to work with you, maybe your website or your social media, you go ahead, whatever you would like people, how, how can they reach out to you and learn more about your business? Uh, well, they can find me easily at um, LinkedIn, my um, handle is Mama Batul Qazi, which is exactly my name. Also, I have a website, ubqdigitalmarketing.com. You can uh, contact me over there. I am on at Twitter as I am on Twitter as well. My handle is at digitalubq, and um, also at Facebook, Mama Batul Qazi. So I am almost everywhere on every platform. And that was ubqdigitalmarketing.com. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. 
Okay, we are out of time. You have been an absolute delight. And when this show, I, I will put together a blog post and on my website, Umama, I will share those links for everyone too. So if they didn't get it just now, they'll get it on my website. So we'll be sure yeah. to help get the word out. I wish you much success in your marketing and your dentist practice. I'm so excited uh, for you and your family must be so amazing. So proud of you. So, so God bless you. Thank you so much for, for doing this with me. And I look forward, let's stay in touch. Okay. Okay. For sure. Thank you very much, Deborah. Thank you. I thank you and everyone for now, our time is up. This is Deborah DePietro, and I hope you enjoyed your time with me wandering around the world. Perhaps you've been reminded about something wonderful in your own backyard, learned something about a faraway place, or got some ideas for future trips. You can find out more about the show in my website, wonderaroundtheworld.com, and learn how you may be a future guest like Umama here. So here's to keeping wonder alive, moving forward, and connecting with our global neighbors. See you next time. <laughs>